Good day to everyone and uh, this is Raju here. Today we are going to discuss about the SMS call flow. In uh, some of our videos we have already seen the basic understanding of uh, telecom architecture and in my last video <coughs> I have explained about the 3G architecture. Now slowly we are progressing towards uh, the call flows and one of the very simple call flow is the SMS call flow. So that's the reason why I thought uh, we'll cover the SMS related call flow. Now uh, let us understand the call flow of a short message service that is SMS. Okay. Now uh, if we really see that uh, with the advancement in the telecom technology different ways has emerged sending the messages from one generation to other generation and the latest generation is 5G. Before we exactly move on to 5G as mentioned in my earlier videos we will go step by step understanding the basics so that it is easy to grasp and understand as we progress. Now before the mobile services were available the messages of communication was mainly via letters or postcards and that too if the person is not educated then the needy used to go to the educated person and ask them to write the letters but now it is different. We have different ways of sending the information in the form of messages. Now everyone know about this one right in the olden days it was like that that person who is not educated that is how it is. Now understanding the flow. Now let us see that how exactly the flow happens. Now when a SMS is sent from the first uh, SMSC is authenticated and based on the authentication the routing of the SMS happens to the respective B number from A number. The process is called as authentication and forward SMS which is called as uh, MOFSM. Okay that we will see in the signal in this one. Now SMS is transferred by using the signaling channel called SDCCH that is standalone dedicated control channel. If both the subscribers are under the same MSC then within the allocated uh, region uh, if there is no other SMSC then whatever the message that flows from one subscriber to the other subscriber it is within the same MSC uh, within the same SMSC okay. So if both the subscribers are located that is how the flow will be. Now SMS is submitted from one MSC, SMSC to other SMSC when both are in different uh, SMS, um, SMSC zones. Now different types of SMS are one is A2P, P2P, P2A and I2P. The full forms are uh, given. Okay. Now when we say A2P is application to person, P2P is person to person, P2A is person to application and I2P is internet to person. Now A2P is the messages are flown from the application to the user. They are referred as push messages also. Now example is promotional messages, banking related messages. Okay. Now P2P is it is uh, daily we use this kind of messages sending messages from our handset to the other uh, subscribers. Now P2A is now we sometimes we will uh, send the messages from our uh, um, SMS to the uh, application. And sometimes in I2A what happens we receive the OTPs, we receive the SMS and again we submit that to the application itself. So that is how uh, the messages uh, flow uh, in uh, means overall uh, uh, flow of uh, SMS that is in the different uh, type of applications. Those are your A2P, P2P, P2A and I2P. So hope this is clear. Now to highly see uh, on a high level if you want to really see that how exactly the flow happens is now here what we are saying A to P okay. Now in A to P what is happening the application is sending the messages to the person mostly the banking related services if you see sometimes we see that okay you have this kind of loan facility and all those things that those are mainly A to P. P to P is this is widely used this is our day to day activity we send messages to others. P2A is what a person to application. Sometimes as mentioned uh, just now that we receive sometimes uh, OTP okay, and we give that OTP to the application so that it gets authenticated and vice versa I2P is internet to person is nothing but we receive the SMS from the application and again we submit that to the application itself. So that is how the flow happens. Okay. User. Now when he is trying to send the SMS, the, what are the parameters that are included that comes into picture in the air interface that we will see it. So here if you see that there are uh, uh, different network elements that are there right. Now uh, here if you see we have MSC or VLR 
we have SMSC which is the SMSC center from where the authentication happens and again it gets routed means this SMSC is mainly responsible for submitting the SMS and HLR it is mainly responsible for giving the information about the subscriber and MSC or VLR is nothing but uh, to the other end of the subscriber where the SMS has to be delivered okay so how many elements are uh, network elements are involved in the entire process four elements are involved right one is your MSC the other is your SMSC, then HLR and again the visited uh, location registry that is nothing but your VLR. So when we see about this one, the user now, this is a mobile user, mobile user is trying to send the SMS. Now that SMS will be authenticated to the nearest uh, uh, signaling center which is nothing but the tower or you can refer it as SMSC. Now from here, whenever we see that the SMS is submitted, submitted means the SMS is originated the originated sms is called as sms mo now when the sms is originated then what msc will do it will send the information to smsc what information be it will send mo fsm fsm okay forward short message now why it will ask smsc because smsc is mainly responsible for submitting the sms okay now in turn what smsc will do it will say okay now forward the acknowledgement uh, is given by smsc so uh, when M uh, msc is trying to ask that should i submit it now smsc what it is written uh, returning the signal saying that okay now you can submit it now whenever it sees uh, you can submit it okay it will send the routing information send the routing information that is for sm short message to hlr now from the hlr what all parameters will be checked that whether that subscriber is allowed to do make the sms whether he has the services or not whether he has uh, uh, any restrictions on it all those parameters will be checked and then what it will do it will say okay now you can um, ask uh, uh, to forward the sms means hlr is giving a response back to sms is saying that okay now you can authenticate it authenticate it in the sense you can ask him to uh, send the sms so whenever the hlr is giving sri information in response to smsc now what smsc will do it will submit MT means mobile terminated forward short message that is nothing but delivery to the other uh, MSC where the actual uh, the other subscriber is located. Now when that happens the MSC what it will say okay now I received your message and I am delivering it means it will send back the empty uh, notification empty means mobile terminated forward short message notification to the SMSC okay. Now once that it sends means now what is happening here this visited VLR is sending the authentication back to the SMSC it means it is going to deliver that MSC to the subscriber right. So here the message is delivered to the subscriber and he is able to see the empty SMS empty SMS mobile terminated short message service then the acknowledgement uh, report goes back to uh, msc stating that okay now i have submitted uh, the sms to the desired user then uh, msc will say okay i acknowledge that you have submitted it okay so this is how the entire flow of sms happens so in short if you see the user is sending the sms msc is authenticating there is a forward message that is sent to smsc smsc will give the acknowledgement stating that okay i am submitting the sms uh, I, and at the same time smsc will say, check with hlr uh, for routing information once the routing information is given back by hlr to sms uh, smsc the smsc will send the uh, a, a sms which has to be submitted to the respect to msc or vlr and then that uh, msc or the vlr will again send the information or the acknowledgement to the sms stating that i am delivering the sms to the desired user then what smsc will do it will give authentication no, means information to this msc saying that okay i have uh, delivered the report then it will say okay i know that you have the uh, delivered the report means you have delivered the sms to the respective user so that is how the sms flow happens 
in the normal uh, scenario normal scenario in the sense this is actually the call scenario of sms hope you guys understood it so if any of the information that you require please do uh, post your comments and at the same time i request you to please subscribe to my channel and like the bell icon so that uh, click on the bell icon so whenever i post the videos you will be getting the alerts and uh, you can have at least some of the knowledge on the telecom domain thank you very much for watching the video thank you guys